So aside from the fact that you plug it into his butt, um, <laughs> oh my god, I can't. I told you to stay away. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at another Spirit Halloween today in Alliance, Ohio, and I am super excited, not about that loud helicopter up there, but about what I can see through the front doors of this Spirit Halloween. And I forgot my mask, so as soon as I get it, we're gonna go in and see what's in there. That's better, let's go. All right, here we go, guys. I am excited because right up front is Mr. Grimm. Okay, look at his eyes. I love how his eyes are actually eyeballs that move, rather than the animated eyes that we're starting to see on so many different animatronics. And I like how they don't have the music so very loud in here so we can actually hear what he has to say. I think we already heard that part. <laughs> he said, you look like death warmed over. So this is one of my favorites, guys, because He's just so cool that the mechanism has to be hidden so well because he's nothing but a skeleton. So aside from the fact that you plug it into his butt, um, <laughs> oh my God, I can't. There's just a very small mechanism right there in his throat that has to go down like his spine and also into his arm over here because his arm moves. So let's just watch this. All right, the head moves, the jaw moves, the eyes move, the arm moves, and the whole mechanism, his body moves too. So the whole mechanism has to be hidden very well inside his spine. That is such a cool prop. I love you, Mr. Grimm. Okay, we also have the Harvester of Souls over here. Let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Harvester. Um, okay, I guess he's not gonna work, but that's okay. We've seen him a million times. We got the Night Stalker. Let's fix his little price tag thing there and get him rolling. He's not very loud. He is very quiet today. <laughs> Mr. Stalker, if you want to stalk me properly, you're gonna have to be louder. Okay, we got the Jumping Spider. Ooh, he was super loud, all right. And then beside him, we have one of my favorites, the Wraith. He's not very loud either. This is a very quiet store. I think one thing I love about him is that the sound he makes just reminds me of Scooby-Doo. All right, let's take a little walk around and see what else we can find in here. Okay, yeah, it's very quiet in here. It's almost eerie, because usually in these stores they have really, really loud music playing. Hmm, okay. All right, wait, let's go over this way a minute. Lots of masks over there. Lots of coming soons. Let's see. All right, not very many animatronics in this store. I am glad they have Mr. Grimm. But let's go ahead and look at some of the more basic things in here. Oh, look, we do have the empty soul girl on a swing. We have three of those. Okay. Got a zombie baby. It's the crawling zombie baby. I'm still on the lookout for the two head, the, uh, the cat dog, and the, uh, the zombie burrito baby. <laughs> This one's called Gorious George. I never noticed that before. We have the inflatable Frankenstein, eight feet tall. Inflatable tombstone, four feet. Inflatable cat with the face. We have inflatable light-up jack-o'-lantern stack. Okay. Inflatable light-up ghost. Uh, let's see, oh look, we got a reaper. That's cool, he's eight feet tall. And then we have the 12-foot scary clown archway. 
whole bunch of the posable dummy props. These are really cool. I think I was talking about these before where you could get like a costume and dress them up like Michael Myers or Jason Voorhees or something and just, you know, like set them on a chair in your front yard. Ooh, we got the Michael Myers greeters. I love these. There's popcorn in that one, but you'd have to put like different kinds of candy and stuff in there for trick-or-treaters. Although if you left these outside for a trick-or-treater, I guarantee they would just grab the whole Michael Myers and take off running. Oogie Boogie Roll the Dice, what the heck? It's like a dice game, I think. I think those actually come out of there and you can actually play with them. We have Hanging Sam's. Everybody loves Sam couple of Chucky greeters here. Take a look at this. Yeah, that's really cool. And look, he did, he's got a bowl full of like candy balls. <laughs> look, I don't know if I've seen this anywhere else. The Sam Sidestepper. I think somebody was just telling me to keep an eye out for this too. He's 30 bucks. Does he have a button? Yeah. Ooh. That is so cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, Sam, hush. Oh, look, he has, like, fingerless gloves on. Okay, cool. Let's try out uh, Pennywise. He's pretty cool, too. I like that. All right, let's turn it off. I feel weird making noise in here because it's so quiet. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. Look at this. Welcome to Haddonfield. Have a knife day. <laughs> Foam clown mask. That is really soft like that's unlike any other mask i felt except for maybe the ones where the jaw actually moves does that move oh i guess that one moves okay here's this guy that's in dire need of aqua fresh well this is cool look we have a puppet master mask that's a pretty sweet one gotta love the alien mask and then below him we have smiley Ooh, that's a thick one too dang it is a thick rubber mask Here's a skeleton mask from Trick or Treat. That's a pretty awesome looking one. Look at this. I should get this and be a bald guy for Halloween. Wait. <laughs> oh, look, we have headless skeleton here. Come for a treat. <laughs> <For a trick. laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I've seen him before. Have you come for a treat or a trick? All right, that was cool. Another one. There's something spooky out tonight, and I think it's you. <laughs> somebody, somebody else said that. I think it was one of the props at the, uh, at the Lowe's. It was like a witch prop or something. Have you come for a treat? Or for a trick? <laughs> for a treat or a trick. Okay, I think that's everything that he says. Oh, look, we have the fogging skull pile. Somebody was looking for this. They have two of them in stock. Alliance Ohio, get down here and get one. A lot of people ask me to keep an eye out for certain things and I can never remember all of them. But when I see them, I will try to mention them to you guys so you can get out here and get them wherever I may be. Speaking of, somebody else was asking me about the Beef Boss mask. Here's just the basic one. I know a couple years ago or maybe last year they had like the big actual burger mask, the full head mask. And over here, I see just about every Fortnite costume except the Beef Boss, including Peely. Look, it's a banana. Oh, look, somebody was also asking me if they have Ghost Face, and they do. Now, these are all kids' sizes, but I did notice they have three different kinds. They have the regular one, they have the Bleeding Ghost Face, and they have three of the Chrome Edition in stock. These are hard to find. While I'm thinking about it, let's go over to the adult costumes and see if, yes, here they are. They do have ghost face in the adult sizes, and they even have the chrome faces. Guys, these are really hard to find. They got one, two, three, at least three of them over here in both child's and adult sizes. While we're over here, let's check out the Michael Myers. They got the, re the Halloween 2018 mask. We got the regular Halloween mask, which is all, there we go, that looks much better. And then we got Halloween 2. They got the mechanic jumpsuits for the Michael Myers. We got the socks, we got a Halloween Curse of Michael Myers hat. I thought I saw more Michael Myers over here, but maybe not. I do see Freddy, including my favorite one, the Nightmare on Elm Street 4 mask. I just think that is such a good looking mask right there. The gloves, we got the sweaters. 
Friday the 13th with the hockey masks and the shirts. We got this shirt here and the Camp Crystal Lake Counselor costume. I think that is so cool. Look at that shirt. We got both of the new Beetlejuice masks, the half face and the full face. Beetlejuice costumes up here for girls. Chucky costumes here. And yeah, guys, we're in the uh, adult sizes here. And here's that shirt I saw the other day. I think that is totally hilarious. They have all three Killer Clowns masks, Spiky, Jumbo, and Shorty. Sam costumes, here's Sam treat bag and the lollipop. Another uh, trick or treat mask, the clown mask. And then uh, let's see, oh look, they have the Sam hooded dress here. And Sam outfit, the Sam mask. A Couple of different Pennywise costumes here. This one is the older Pennywise, and this one actually comes with the suit, the mask, the gloves, the collar. There's the mask in there, and then over here, we have the newer uh, Pennywise stuff. Masks, the full suits, I think this one actually comes with a mask as well. And of course, here's a Georgie costume, comes with the jacket, the mask, the, the balloon comes with it too. Alright, that's cool. Oh, so we got the Adams Family, we got Gomez, and Morticia, and Wednesday. You guys ever see that meme where Wednesday was like dancing to a white zombie song? I haven't seen that forever, but if you find it, come over and post it on uh, the Facebook page, that Nate Guys and Gals. Somebody was asking me about finding Cru Cruella stuff. Here's a couple of, I think these are wigs. Yeah, both of these are wigs. This is a shorter one, and that's a longer one. Here's the Cruella choker, but it looks like that's... Pretty much all they have right now in the Cruella department. They got Woody's Roundup. Lots and lots of Harry Potter stuff. Lots and lots of Hocus Pocus. They have Mystery Machine socks. These are so cool. I've always wanted to buy a van and have it uh, painted just like the Mystery Machine. I just might have to do that one of these days. Ghostbusters suits here. And they got the inflatable Stay Puffed over here. Oh look, they even have the Proton packs. That's pretty sweet. Holy crap, guys, it's the first one I've been to where they've had all four Teletubbies suits. We have Poe and Tinky Winky and Dipsy and Lala. I can't believe I'm talking about the Teletubbies. Oh my lord. Inflatable gizmo costume. Guys, I haven't seen this anywhere else. This is totally awesome. I love it so much. Hi, Giz. <laughs> See, this is why I love going to so many different Spirit Halloween stores, because you always see things in other stores that you didn't see in other stores. This mask, here's a Scarecrow mask that I haven't seen. I mean, if the, if the other stores had it, I didn't see it. There's better ones than that, but that one is pretty cool. What the heck? I don't think I've seen this one either. The One-Eyed Willie Pirate mask. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm kind of liking the swashbuckling ladies' costumes here. What would my wife do if I brought this home and said, Babe, I got you a costume. <laughs> I like this. It's a parrot that if you dress like a, uh, a pirate, you attach the parrot to your shoulder. That's hilarious. Reminds me of the toucan at the Rainforest Car Wash. Dookie dookie. Okay, look at this. This is a cool take on the Little Red Riding Hood costumes without actually calling it Little Red Riding Hood. Look, this one's just called Little Red. Woodland Red Riding Hood. Okay, they actually do call that one Red Riding Hood. Big Bad Red and Dangerous Red. Somebody asked me the other day if I thought this statue was worth it because it's $43. Look at this. I think this thing is well worth it. That is so cool. And it's like, I think it's ceramic. You'd have to be careful not to crack it or anything, but yeah, look at that. So cool, well worth it, buy it. Oh, I almost forgot about the stickers, guys. Here we go, come get them. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Here's two that I have not seen in other stores yet, but these are awesome. Look, okay, this one has a skull. Or, pfft, crap. Of course it has a skull. It's a skull. That's heavy, too. I think that's ceramic. It's a skull with a snake twisting all the way through from its mouth, inside, out the eye, and around its head. And then this one is just a skull made up of a billion skulls. Look, there's a rib cage, too. A billion skulls making up this skull. <laughs> and they're boxes. Look, 
if I took this off, you'd see that that top comes off and you put stuff in there. Now, me personally, I'd be using these as cereal bowls. Here's one that doesn't come with a top, but it's basically the same thing. Look, okay, it's about the same size. And yeah, the top comes off of that one and it makes a bowl like this. I'm talking about haunted cap and crunch in that. Gosh, I missed this before, guys. Look, we got peeping peepers. Their eyes that light up. Hold on, we can try them out. Hold on, let's do this. Oh, and look, you hide them in the bushes. Do they have different styles? Um, looks like they're all the same style, but wouldn't that be cool if they were all hidden in your bushes and flashing at people, peeping at people? Oh, look, and speaking of eyes, they have blinking eye string lights. Let's see if they work. Oh, I see you, it said. <laughs> I see you, I'm watching you. That is pretty cool. How many are those? Um, oh, it includes eight eyeballs. Okay, I gotta look at this one more time because it's so cool. The Sam Sidestepper. That is so awesome, guys. And I don't think I've seen him in any other stores. So I think I'm gonna buy him. All right, guys, that is it for the Alliance Ohio Spirit Halloween. Um, the guy said that they will be getting some more animatronics in. They're just not sure when. They just got the Night Stalker in. He said they had Sam set up, but they sold this morning. And speaking of Sam, I did buy the side stepper. So cool. All right, I'll see you guys later. I told you to stay away. Oh, my God. <laughs>